just over here. Go over it there. Underneath, underneath the... Got, a, got Northern Lapid Falls right here. Oh! What's going on, guys? We're out here today on a little afternoon drive. And we're checking out a new spot here today. I think you guys have already seen this spot before, but there's a lot of marshland in here, so we're going to be herping in, along this marsh this afternoon. So I'm just going to try to pay attention to the road here as we're getting to our spot. We're going to go to the very end and drive our way back and look around. We're bound to see some turtles on a day like this, or we're bound to see some frogs or snakes or possibly. So I'll get back to you guys when we're stopped. Hello guys, SW Outdoors. Hope you guys are actually having a fantastic day today. We are out here herping in this little marsh right here on the side of the road. And uh, just a perfect day for it. It might be a hot and humid day. I think it was supposed to be 25 today from the, from the looks of the uh, temperature wise. But still warm enough. I actually feel it humid right now. I actually have somewhat of a shirt, but I have it rolled up. So, um... Yeah, we're out here herping in this little uh, marsh today. Uh, pretty good marsh for herping for turtles and frogs and that. And this marsh is actually connected to a conservation area called uh, Skinner's Marsh, which is a marsh owned by Ducks Unlimited and all that. So um, I usually, I don't really herp out here as much. I've only herped here a few times, but this is the first time during the daylight and it's just a perfect day to be out looking for frogs and that. Of course, we're doing it later on in the day when it's so humid. I was going to get out in the morning, but uh, had some other stuff I had to do earlier. So um, we're hoping to get out and look for some stuff today. So uh, let's see what we find. All right, guys, we found our first pound right here from the looks of it. That looks like a juvenile bullfrog from the looks of it, from the size. It could be a green frog, but it's too far to actually tell what exactly that frog is. But we have another one way over, can we zoom out for a second, if I can get in my lens, there is another frog right there, a green frog from the looks of it, right there. So we got a juvenile bullfrog and a green frog so far on camera, and we're getting a whole lot of green frogs calling off in the background, and one just jumped in over there. So this marsh is just covered with frogs, mostly bullfrogs and green frogs from the looks of it. So um, we're going to see if we can find it, find it some more. All right, guys, we found another frog right there. Another northern green frog. And then there's one that lily right there. That's a juvenile bullfrog from the looks of it from this far distance. So there's one green frog. And one bullfrog way over there, out in the middle of open water. And then over here, there's another one way over there. And that's got to be, i got to get a closer look at if it's a bullfrog or not. Could be a bullfrog from the looks of this distance. So we're going to get a little closer. Actually guys, this is a green frog right over here. Just another uh, small group, juvenile green frog. So that's a couple of these guys we've seen today. We're going to see if we can try to find something else as well. Or maybe an older or bigger bullfrog in that. And this is kind of a fun fact about certain species of frogs we find here in Ontario. The majority of them like to prefer to habitat is usually under these heavy vegetated areas. Especially for the bullfrogs and green frogs. Because in here, you can barely see them because they're so well camouflaged within these water lilies and that. And also all this duckweed and all that. But uh, this is the example of a perfect green frog and bullfrog habitat. And this is also prime habitat for painted turtles and snapping turtles and water snakes and different of many different species of reptiles and amphibians. And this is not just habitat for reptiles and amphibians. This is also prime waterfowl habitat, uh, habitats for blue heron, birds like blue herons and uh, different species of insects and yeah, so this is just a prime fact about wetlands. Like, my family does works with water and all that stuff. My family runs a 
well drilling business. So we know a lot about water and all that stuff. So my knowledge from wetlands comes from that. So basically what wetlands prove is basically they're like a water filter within the ecosystem. And without wetlands like this, it would be really bad for the environment. And many wetlands around the world are being destroyed by human development and everything. So um, the reason what I do out here is kind of, I mean, I try to educate as best I can in my videos about the purpose of wetlands and that, and the purpose for reptiles and amphibians and other different species of wildlife that live in these habitats. And it's also plants and everything that if we didn't have plants, we would also wouldn't have oxygen and everything like that. So uh, wetlands are kind of one of the most important ecosystems in the world. And the reason why they provide a water filter and as well as heavy wildlife refuge for different species of, of animals and that, that call this animals and plants, basically. So um, this is pretty much... I would say this is more of a, a, a marsh from the looks of it because, I mean, there's trees that come out of it. It could be, because this is basically like a marsh mixed with a swamp and that. And this is, this little marsh is called, I don't know if this is part of the Skinner's Marsh, but uh, we were near this town called Shaw Lake, Ontario. And basically, Shaw Lake is basically like a big mud lake and everything like that. So, um, basically around this whole town is just full of marshes and marshes and different marshes and that so yeah we just had a another male green frog popped up here in the lilies i didn't see him and that's why these guys are so camouflaged within these lilies i did not see this guy but that one right there is a male from the looks of it and we're hearing a whole bunch of them call today and uh if you've seen most of my videos this year we caught a whole bunch of them last night in uh, the nearby golf course pond near my house. And uh, these guys are one of the most common frogs you actually find here in Ontario. You can find these guys in southwestern Ontario, eastern Ontario, northern Ontario, here in south central Ontario, pretty much in any marsh or swamp or pond or just any habitat for these guys will pretty much stay in any permanent body of water, basically. And we got another one. I don't really see him very well, but I've just seen one underneath these water lilies somewhere. He's way... He's right there. There's another one. We're just seeing a whole bunch of these green frogs. Let's see if we can try to find a bullfrog. I think that the... A bullfrog over there. A small juvenile bullfrog, from the looks of it. So that may be our first or maybe our second bullfrog today. So that guy's just chilling near that near that log over there. Just saw some movement in that water right there. But just missed it. There was a snapping turtle right there. Underneath underneath the water. But he's pretty much gone. Darn, I wish I got that on camera. But that was another common species of reptile we find here in Ontario is the common snapper and one of the largest species of turtles, freshwater turtles, we have here in Canada. But he's gone. He was just swimming right next to that log and I just missed him. Let's move along. We found ourselves a common, another common species here in the marsh, a midland painted turtle has just been chilling on this log right here. And normally on really hot days, these guys just like to bathe in the sun. So that's first first reptile discovery we found today. But this guy is just basking on the log. Usually, there he goes. But usually when you're out, uh, like say if you're out in the marsh kayaking and all that stuff, these guys will usually just be like chilling out on the logs. Like you see, probably see five of them or six of them on the log. Pretty much just chilling all together. So we'll probably see more of these guys hanging out here on the marsh today. 
We might, when we go to our other spot, we might have a chance of actually catching one. So we're just going to look around for a little bit. Got two herons out there. And these guys are usually uh, a predator of bullfrogs and green frogs. So they're probably looking around for these frogs right now out here. Just waiting for one to be an afternoon snack. Another Midland painted turtle under the water here. surfaced. He's a little too far out for my net here so and he's going back under underneath the lilies. Okay guys this is what just upsets me. I like catching these big guys but we got one decent sized male bullfrog right there and right over there at the far corner there's another one and both of them are just too far out to catch so this is a bit of a challenge here we got one right here and we got another one way over there those are the two first bullfrogs we've seen two giants we've seen all day but this one is a little bit bigger than the other one over there so yeah He's just an absolute giant. I mean, he's pro he doesn't look like that big of a frog. I've seen them a lot bigger than this, but uh, I'd say he's pretty much an average size one. There's a female bullfrog way out in open water there. Right amongst the lilies. And I gotta tell you guys, these guys, like I said, they camouflage themselves pretty well in this pretty much environment. This is why bullfrogs prefer habitats with heavy vegetation like this. But that's probably our third adult size frog of the day. I think we have one a little bit close here. So let's see if we can get at him. And we have an adult male right over here. I think it was the one I spooked a couple seconds ago. He's, he, he just resurfaced over here. So this male's over here and there's a female way over there. But this guy's way too far out for me to catch him so I'm just gonna leave him alone. This particular spot, so I'm gonna stick around the spot for a little bit. Another bullfrog, juvenile from the looks of it, the young female from the looks of it here. So you can see her eardrum smaller than her eye. And that's how you tell from a female and a male bullfrog. The same thing goes for green frogs as well. And that's a fair size. I didn't notice this earlier, but there's a big size beaver dam right there. So the, you know the beavers have been busy right in here. Seems like they're damming this little spot up back in here from the looks of it. Little beaver house. Got a, nor got a northern leopard frog right here. Oh! Too fast. Me! There he goes.
to do a proper low res. I'll try to get out of this. I don't have this thing in here. Alright guys, I got a juvenile bullfrog right here. Another young female from the looks of it. She's just basking in the sun. I tried to catch her, but she jumped out. And these bullfrogs, like I said, these bullfrogs are a challenge to herp for during the day. And, yeah. There's so many of these juveniles that are hanging around. It's late summer, and they're just hopping around in this little uh, marshy habitat and that. I haven't really seen truly any big ones today. I mean, I've seen a couple big ones, but uh, this is probably the... Uh, one of the juveniles I've seen today. So these frogs are quite common in this marsh. And we just seen other pieces of wildlife today, but bullfrogs are mostly being my highlight today for the looks of it. And we're just seeing so many of them out in the lilies and that. And like I said, this is prime bullfrog habitat. If you're looking for bullfrogs, the best type of habitat to look for is this. Just water lily covered and if it's a permanent body of water, like a marsh or a inland lake or a river, this is probably the best spot you could try to find. And I think it just, no, he's still there. This is pretty much the best habitat you can actually try to find bullfrogs in. And painted turtles and, bull, painted turtles and snapping turtles and green frogs, leopard frogs, pretty much any reptile and amphibian you can find. Is mostly in marshy habitats. So these guys are notoriously common to find in marshes. So um, pretty cool find. We're just gonna keep looking around. So we got a little green frog right in there. The looks of it. Just one little baby green frog. Of course, guys, this is uh, where we start our herping season. Usually this is where we start our herping season, right back in here. And this is more of like a little small swamp through here, but late with the warm weather, it's just been dry up. It's just dried up completely. Actually, there's some spots that are opened up that we can actually see stuff, but the majority of this spot is completely dry. So it gives it a little bit of a challenge to look for amphibians and that, but we got small frogs jumping around. We got, we got an adult jumping around right there. But uh, yeah, most of the spots completely dried up, but there's a few spots in here that are just um, watery and that, but it's mostly full of duckweed. We've already seen one frog in here so far. Nor even one turtle. So it's just another humid day in paradise. And I think we've got a leopard frog there, I think, from the looks of it. So, yeah. Just something I thought I'd do today, just get out and do something on this peaceful, quiet afternoon. But I think I'm going to pack up and go home soon. So, yeah. So we've seen a whole bunch of green frogs, a couple of leopard frogs, a couple of uh, painted turtles and snapping turtles and that today, but I actually never got that snapping turtle on camera. He just went underwater before I could even get on, get on him. So yeah, but we're just gonna keep zooming around here and looking around, but not much we can see pretty much with everything all weeded up and dried up. So we're just gonna, we're, <laughs> we're just on busy. Everybody's driving around today, so yeah. We're just slightly moving around in here, but completely, I mean, it's still swampy, but everything's just dried up in here. Not much to see, especially when it's covered in weeds. We're just going to head back to the truck right now. Not much of a gap through here. All right, guys, I'm just back in the yard right now. I just got back from the marsh and that, so... It was just an average afternoon for herping. I mean, we saw tons and tons of bullfrogs and green frogs and uh, paint, a couple of painted turtles, which is nice. And we just saw, showed uh, 
just an average, like, we didn't catch anything, but we just did a lot of frog spotting and turtle spotting and all that stuff and just looked around at the local wildlife in the marsh on a warm summer day. So right now I'm just chilling on the back porch. <sighs> Have the truck parked next to the tree, but I might move it after my dad moves his truck. So, um, yeah, I mean, I got out today. I was going to do a bit of fishing as well, but I just did not go according to plan because I had other stuff going on this morning so I didn't really actually have the chance to get out so um, yeah so the last two days I've just been herping I uh, herped back there last night and I herped into the marsh today tried to find something close enough to catch but nothing was really close enough to catch so basically we just spotted them out in the marsh and that was pretty much it so um, but we did see some nice spots today I mean we've seen a couple of decent sized bullfrogs we've seen two decent sized painted turtles one snapping turtle so uh yeah so we're trying to double down on my herping content but uh with summer summer's still young so basically we're going on late july and early august so pretty much i'm trying to focus on other stuff in august and get going with my content a little bit so um yeah Anyways, guys, if you like this video, make sure you guys put a like. If you guys are not subscribed to SW Outdoors, make sure you guys click the subscribe button. Click the notification bell when the latest videos are. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. SW Outdoors, signing out.